Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich. We're bringing you an FCS coverage in the Missouri Valley Conference between the Southern Illinois Salukis and South Dakota State. This game is in South Dakota State. What are your keys to victory for the Salukis? You know who have that great running back. Well, you look at what Southern Illinois wants to do. They have to continue to get more improved play from Paul McIntosh, the quarterback that came in. He's doing real well, so he has to continue to play well, protect the football, keep the offense moving. That's going to help the Salukis have some success, too. They have to keep the chains moving. You look at 39% third down conversions they have. They're facing a South Dakota State team that gives up 37% conversions on third down so that third down has to get up this week in order to keep to keep give these guys a chance out there in, in Dakota you also look at they have to block Danny Batten the defensive end for for the Jackrabbits 12 TFLs six and a half sacks this season they're going to have to find him or he's going to have McIntosh on his back all day and you know what the Jackrabbits love to do run the ball with Kyle Manette but they need to get a little more productive in the passing game will they what are your keys to victory for the Jack Rabbits? Well, the keys to victory for South Dakota State is the, the number one matchup, Kyle Manette versus that Salukis run defense. You look at the Salukis come in with averaging 3.8, 3.2 yards a carry they've given up. So can Kyle Manette run against those eight and nine man fronts that the Salukis is going to put up there to try to force these guys into passing situations? Two, they have to force McIntosh in uncomfortable situations by eliminating the run. Now the Jackrabbits do have a really good run defense, only giving up 2.8 yards of carry. So they're gonna have to force him, you know, uh, in, by stopping Kareem, the, the running back, really good player. So they stop him, they force Magnus Toss to really showcase his arm. They should have some success. Third, they have to tie up loose ends. Last year when these guys played, they gave up a kickoff return for a touchdown, as well as an intercept return for a touchdown and results in them losing the football game. They can't have that this year. I like South Dakota State in this one, playing at home, tough place to play. I think they tie it all together this year and put away the Salukis. I'm gonna go with the Salukis with the road win. DG Karim, a very good player. I think they're gonna get this win somehow, some way. I'm gonna go with the upset here. For more FCS coverage, visit footballgameplan.com slash small